What's going on? My name is Cole Connor, and today I want to edit an exterior real estate photo, five bracketed HDR in Lightroom. Let's get into it. What's going on? My name is Cole Connor. I'm an artist and entrepreneur, and I was put here to do two things, create and inspire. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. All right, so I've got this photo up right here of this gorgeous home in Topanga, and I want to show y'all how I do it. First thing I do always is I have an exterior and an interior preset, which it is in the description. If you want one, you can get it for free in the description below. So I just throw on my exterior preset so you can see the difference here. Boom, so I've got some exposure difference, but I don't really love it for this particular photo, so I'm gonna ramp it back up. Contrast going up, highlights down, shadows up. I might play with that to see what I like here. Whites, I usually like high whites if possible. Blacks down a little bit. I'm not really messing too much with this right here unless we're brushing. Um, vibrance up a little bit and then saturation, which I might do a little more saturation here. Highlights down a little bit. I can play with that. Lights up that a little bit. So even though you have a preset, no matter what, you're going to still be ne needing to mess with it a little bit. All right. We got different colors here. I mean, this green is extremely bright. So I'm going to cut that. So it looks like all the way down. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Um, okay. I like this. I'm going to go down further. It's a little bit of sharpening we got going on. Then auto. I don't know that yet rotate it back a little bit so you can see the difference when there's no it's like that actually looks pretty good when you use the transform tool sometimes it it just transforms it a little too much when it's not necessary i try to get my verticals as uh, close as possible pretty much you want these lines to all be as vertical as possible okay cool that looks pretty good so now what I'm seeing, which I'd really, I, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not until I edit it, but I mean, it's really kind of a dark under this shadow here and it's a little bright over here. So I'm going to cut the highlights down a little more, I think. And it's also a little blue on the house. So what I'm going to start with is a brush up top right here depending on what we're doing i'm not going to be super detailed with these broad changes um we need to constrain this crop here so i'm thinking for here and here i'm just gonna just kind of draw around here I mean, those are really the darkest areas yeah okay and then let's brighten it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too much. Yeah, I just like that right there. Um, then if I go over here, I'm going to add another brush. And not too much here. Uh, yeah. Just like random spots that seem a little bit brighter. I'm going to cut the exposure down a little bit. Do it dramatic at first and then kind of balance it out. Here's blacks. Uh, okay, I feel okay about that. Um, the main part I'm feeling here is this is a little yellow and this is a little blue and the house was white so i'm going to go over here all the way over here like i said it doesn't have to be super detailed i mean it depends on how long you want to spend editing per photo really but i'm going to go what do we got here we turn it up Then it's a lot of reflection of the green. 
So I'll cut the pink up a little bit. And there's not really a lot of blue in this image in general because the tree is covering up the sky. So if you crank up the blue, yeah, you'll see there's all this blue in all these places that it shouldn't be. So we're just gonna turn that saturation on the blue down. And I'm also gonna go here to this color blue. A lot of times I'll adjust the yellow depending on how yellow the grass is. Um, yeah, you see, I, I start with the saturation down on yellow. Yeah, we turn it up. We don't want that. So we'll keep it about where it was. Um, you know, what I'm also going to do for this area of the house is just crank up the exposure a little bit. Gives it more of a white feel. Yeah. And then because I made it a little more yellow and this one's already yellow, I'm going to just kind of use a separate brush, go over just this area here. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna make it a little more cooler. And then it's turning greenish. Yeah, Ugh, that doesn't look right. Okay, up the exposure here. That looks better. Boom, and then you can see the reflection really well here. And so usually when I up the exposure in these little areas, sometimes I finish the brushes and I come back and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll cut down the exposure total a little bit for the whole photo. Um, that's too much. And I go 10. Boom. I feel pretty good about that. There's some other things I could do, like the details here. I could go back in with the brush and I could maybe brighten this up a little bit more. But overall, solid. All right, my name is Cole Connor. This gave you value. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or want me to make another video. Happy to do so. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Yeah, yeah. Wake up with a vision, cooking in the kitchen, ain't no fucking in a mission, like yo. Shaking up the city with my bitchin', sorting in the building, and a motherfucker fizzin', like whoa. Cold won't stop till he get that cold. cold.